Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today for you guys, I have a hogger list. So hogger is another beast leader and we're still in the beast week. So uh, I thought it was a perfect moment to release uh, this hogger list. So hogger is probably the, one of the best uh, beast leader right now. Uh, I just did an old Merkai list. So go check out that video uh, if you guys want to see that. Um, but yeah, hogger is really good right now because we have a modifier in the PvP. The modifier being that every time you play your hero, your hero is going to get an extra level, right? Uh, this is really good because that modifier obviously is going to push all those cycle archetypes forward because uh, all those decks that can play your leader as many times as possible are going to get better. And the whole idea behind Hogger is exactly that. So what is Hogger's ability? Hogger has the ability called Relentless. So Hogger's movement and attack speed increases 35% each time he is played. So the idea of playing Hogger is to play him in a deck where you're going to be able to play him uh, play him at the start of the game and then cycle back to him really, really quickly uh, by playing a string of very uh, small minis and then playing your Hogger once again. Uh, and then after like a few minutes, your Hogger is going to become just a monster and a big a big problem for your opponent, right? So, um, yeah, Hogger's really good right now in PvP. So uh, that's why I thought I should make this deck uh, guide for you guys. And uh, let's get into it. So I'll go through every single unit and then we'll go into some PvP as always. But guys, please, if you love the content, please leave a like and subscribe. It's free. Just click subscribe down below. I'm going to do much more content. I have uh, a lot of content planned already. Um, but yeah. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, Hogger, I mentioned the ability, Relentless. So we're, we want to play him in this list where we play a lot of uh, low-cost minis. Here we see that we can see at the bottom uh, of the screen, bottom right side, the, that the average cost of our deck is 2.3, which means it's a really, um, a really cheap deck which is exactly what we want for Hogger, right? So we have the Murlocs, we have the uh, Vultures, we have the uh, Defy's Bandit, uh, which are really good to cycle back into our Hogger, right? So, uh, but before getting to other units, let's just give a little bit more info about uh, Hogger. So Hogger, uh, he's uh, an AoE unit, so he kind of swipes in front of him uh, multiple enemies. This can be huge um, because a lot of the times when you're gonna like swipe, uh, onto a tower and hit the units that are trying to defend it. Um, you can play it against swarms of units such as like those poison spiders, such as uh, some murlocs, stuff like that. Um, so you could use that AoE effect to your advantage as well. But obviously, uh, the main reason we're playing Hogger is to uh, put a lot of pressure on the opponent's base, right? So uh, especially if we get like the two overtime where you play him so many times, he's going to become just indestructible in, um, in PvP. Um, all right, for the talent, which talent did I pick? So I took the Havhawk. I think it's the best talent. We um, we have also Spoiled Meat, which uh, gains poison. We have Fatal Frenzy. However, Havhawk is the best because it also gives him a 10% max health every time you play him. So if you play him, I don't like five times, he's going to have 50% increased health, which means he's going to be on your enemy tower for longer, which means he's going to make more damage, right? So if you're going to pick a talent, pick that one for this deck. Um, yeah, it fits just perfectly with this, uh, with this archetype. This is the type of talent I like to see in the game, which are really, really fun. Um, next up, we have... So we have the Murlocs, which is our first uh, unit that we want to play in our string of uh, cheap minis. Uh, the Murloc Tide Hunters are uh, really necessary here to basically deal with all of the uh, cheap aerial units, right? So uh, we want to play it behind the Hogger. Uh, they're really cheap, so you play a Hogger, you play the Tide Hunters behind. Uh, you can see here um, in the video that the Murlocs are really good against those uh, Vultures, are really good against those Harpies, all of those stuff, right? Uh, next up, we have the uh, Vultures. So the Vultures, uh, what, co what cost mini, so that's why we're playing them. This is the biggest reason why we're playing them. But also, it's like a Diet Harpy. So, like, uh, for a third of the cost of Harpies, I think Vultures are really, really good. Sometimes you're going to get just a whole bunch of Vultures, force, forcing your enemy to, like, maybe uh, play a Chain Lightning. But Chain Lightning costs two, right? So, if he opponent plays a Chain Lightning and you have your Vultures, uh, it's really beneficial for you because you're winning one gold in that exchange, right? If your opponent is playing Chain Lightning, please 
don't play your vultures with your Murloc Tidehunters because that Chain Lightning is going to get much more value and then you're going to lose off that trade, right? So for the Talents, I don't think any of the Talents are that great. Uh, but you could go for, I, I think Migration is pretty cool. Uh, migration where so Vulture is going to keep spawning at your base. So that means there's always going to have a threat from your opponent. He's not going to be able to just deal with all of them uh, at once. Um, but I think that's a little bit clunky. Feeding Frenzy can be really good. Uh, but overall, I think these talents are more on the weaker side. Um, yeah, check my video that's going to come out for all the uh, talent guide for all the beast minis. Um, yeah, I'm also going to cover the uh, Murloc Tidehunters. But quickly... I would go for the plus one additional Murloc if you guys are playing this deck. Next up, we have the uh, Defias Bandits. So the Defias Bandits are actually really, really good. For a one gold uh, mini, uh, it's really good because once again, we want to cycle back to our Hogger. Um, but it's also really good to defend against a lot and lot and lots of stuff, okay? Uh, the ability to stun, like basically they deal no damage, okay? But the stun ability is huge. So like I mentioned in my previous video, what I like to do is to split the bandits. So you play them in the middle between the two lanes and one is going to go in each of the lanes. Uh, and this is going to be able, uh, this is going to be good to defend against a whole lot of stuff. So uh, like Molten Giant, uh, yeah, those Molten Giant is going to, um, being able to stun a Molten Giant is very beneficial because then you have uh, your other units that are going to attack them in a while. Uh, so yeah, you never play the Defies Bandit by themselves. You play them and combo with something else, but the value they bring to the table when you do play them uh, in a combo is really huge. And not to talk about the fact that you're getting your Hawker much more quickly because uh, the Bandits cost one gold. Uh, for the Talents, once again, on the weaker side, I would go for maybe Pick Lock. Just having that extra two gold when opening chests can be really good. Um, yeah, Last Resort can be fine as well. Uh, but honestly, weaker on the weaker side, I wouldn't prioritize the Defies Bandit. I wouldn't even prioritize them to level up because it, their their damage is barely no noticeable, right? So um, um, you could have like a Defies Bandit level 9. It wouldn't change anything really. So we have our Harpies. Oh, our Harpies, okay, this is the most important units we have. Okay, so the Harpies is what we want to combo with the Defies Bandit. Harpies here, especially with the Infectious Swipe where they gain poison. They deal so much damage. So if you have that Molten Giant um, and you want to defeat it, but while you play the Bandit and you play the Harpies, it's going to be enough to destroy a Molten Giant. And then you're going to go uh, create your own offensive afterwards, right? So Harpies, be careful you play them. It's uh, your most powerful unit. It's your most defensive unit. Uh, you got to be careful. Just don't play them just like that. You got to make sure they're safe. You got to make sure they're uh, used in defense. Uh, yeah. Harpies, really good. S your unit, as always. Um, here, I have the safe pilot, right? So the safe pilot is there to deal with some big, big push, okay? So if I had one unit I had to prioritize for uh, level up, it would be the safe pilot in this deck, okay? So we can see here in the video that the safe pilot actually deals really well with uh, enemy backlines, right? So uh, all those spirituals, all those pyromancers, um, even those that, um, how it's called? Let me, let me, let me find it. The, um... Even the Mountainer, right? You can use the safe pilot and crash into the Mountainer. It's going to be really good. Uh, so just to destroy basically the whole back line. And then you have your Hogger. You can deal with the front line. Hogger with your Bandits, with your, with your Murlocs. Uh, and you should be good. So very defensive. Uh, very good. Deals so much damage. It's basically like a mini Blizzard. I kind of use it like that. Um, yeah, really good. And then if you're missing a little bit more damage with that safe pilot, you can also add a Chain Lightning. Okay, so... Um, we have Chain Lightning, Chain Lightning to deal with a lot of Swarmy units. Um, we don't have that much things to deal with Swarm units um, other than the Chain Lightning, right? So keep the Chain Lightning for that exact purpose. Uh, I use the uh, Brilliant Flash uh, because on deploy, stuns enemy for one second. This is really good. I like to uh, change the targets, right? So that's a little bit of how I use the Defies Bandit as well. Sometimes the Defies Bandit are going to lock onto a target you don't want to. Uh, sorry, the... Uh, Enemy is going to lock on the target you don't want to. So then your Defies Bandit or your Chain Lightning is going to be good to reset the target. And then it's going to hit your Hogger that's going to, going to arrive uh, a little bit later or something like that, right? So uh, yeah, I would go for Brilliant Flash. And then for the Safe Pilot, the talent I would go for um, 
I think I like to go for uh, coming in hot, deploy twice as fast and burn nearby enemies. But that's a personal preference for me. If you're really good, you don't really need that one. Um, but yeah, uh, any of the other two can be good. Gnomish cloaking device. Uh, so deploying with stealth and ambush can be really good because most of the time when you play your safe pilot in the back line, um, she's just going to die immediately, right? So now we're actually going to have a unit that your opponent is going to have to deal with. Uh, so yeah, actually, I think I would go for the first one. But the polymorph one can be good um, if you want to deal with those multi-giant and those uh, gargoyle stuff like that. Um, yeah, but the way we're playing the safe pilot in this list is more close to the uh, cloaking device uh, talent, right? Where we want to play them in their backline. So yeah, guys, this is it for the deck. We'll jump into some uh, PvP games here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there. All right, we're against uh, Thalnos. We'll immediately send our Hogger here. Apparently, there's an arrow. Yeah, there's an arrow, an invisible arrow here on the tile right here. The map is broken a little bit right now. So our opponent is playing an uh, unbound list. We're gonna have to keep our our hogger perhaps to defend. Stay sharp. We're gonna chain lightning those harpies. I'm gonna split the tight. In case of doubt, guys, just split your, your tight hunters. Okay, so he's playing only a single. Um, I forgot to change child because uh, of the invisible arrow. Okay, that's where we need our harpies, guys. We need harpies. We're going to even send our tide hunters and our hogger to tank. See, now our hogger is level 7. We're going to send our miner here. We are going to chain lightning the um, bandits to get our gold. The single harpy moving through is fine. So now we need to start securing some gold. So we're going to send the hogger on the right side. Hoping to defend. Yeah, the right arrow is also inverted. We're going to try to defend against... Maybe a defensive on our uh, miner. And the inverted arrows keep screwing me up. Um, we're gonna send bandits here. We're gonna make sure they go middle. And we already have so much damage from the hog here on our opponent's base. Are we? Do we have enough with the chain lightning? We do. That's gonna be it. All right, we're against a Tyrion. Interesting. All right. Um, so we're going to send our bandit here to go middle. We're going to send our miter right side with uh, some murlocs. So we're keeping our hogger here. We're just waiting for them to push. And we are going to put our hogger in a position where he's not going to get uh, splash damaged. So we are going to put the Defies Bandit to defend against the Torrent. But it's not enough. We are going to have to drop our Harpies as well. Okay. We're going to need to send our Vultures. Perhaps our Vultures are going to be able to do something middle. But we want to keep, keep cycling. We want to keep cycling our hogger. We're gonna play a torrent with Tide Hunters. He's gonna start charging, but again, he's gonna get he's gonna get stunned. <laughs> um, through his dash. So we are going middle here. We are gonna chain lightning the harpies because they aren't any better target, I think. And we're gonna, we're gonna go back to our hogger as quickly as possible. 
We're gonna swap the invisible arrow side here. And we have our hogger at the ready here. So we have the Tony here, so we can do Oh my god, our opponent's playing the meat wagon. So we are playing our hogger, he's already level eight. However, we did take some damage on our turret, but we did more to his. We're gonna use the chain lightning here. And we are gonna send our bandits. Unfortunately, our opponent is dealing some good damage on our turret. Our hogger is making some good work here. Okay, we're gonna go focus more on defense. And now that we have a good hogger, Let's not forget the arrows inverted. The hogger is becoming stronger and stronger. Moving faster and faster. And then attacking faster as well. So we're gonna chain lightning here. Let's go. We have some good damage here. Okay, since we have the obelisk here, we are gonna use it. The meat wagon is stunned. Here we are going to send our miner. We need something to take the chest. Our opponent is not contesting any of the gold mines, which is good for us. The hogger is connecting. That's going to be it, probably. Let's go. We're playing against a... Uh, Drachysathlet with a it's a no name. We're gonna send our hogger middle. And our opponent is already playing Blizzard. And some unbalanced units here. That's already a lot of damage here, so he's probably gonna try to rush us, which is a very valid strategy against uh, hogger list because we need some time to level up. So we're gonna send our miner here. We're gonna try to defend as much as possible here. We're playing against an unbound list, which is really strong right now. I'm going to immediately send my hugger on his base. I believe our opponent is wasting a lot of gold on his offensives. We need to deal more damage than he does. We have the harpies. I think we're able to steal the win here. Yep. I guess it wasn't a steal. We we're able to secure the win here. All right, so we're playing against a red here. We're going to have issues uh, dealing with all of the air units. All right, I think we were able to secure that chest. We're gonna use a safe fight. Hopefully, it hits the pyromancer. It does. However, the red black hand is an issue here. We're gonna play the vultures, and our hogger as left as possible. Okay, now change of plan. We're gonna play completely defensive. I think the the bandits are weren't necessary. The Drake 
Ben's gonna get destroyed. We're gonna play our harpies. Okay, we're gonna have to send our hogger now and start applying pressure here. Okay. Our hogger is getting bigger. Our hogger did deal a good deal of damage here. We're not able to um, secure the chest, unfortunately. Okay, we're going to send our hogger here. While we try to defend. We're going to play the safe pilot here. It should hit the Drake. It does. We're going to keep defending. Our hogger is doing a lot of damage. So we have issues dealing with air. But our opponent has issues dealing with our hogger here. So we play our harpy. There's a Pyromancer, so we are going to play our Hogger here. Hopefully, he's going to be able to tank the Pyromancer. There goes the Harpies, but the Harpies should die to the turret. We're going to put the Tide Hunters just to further defend. We can play our Safe Pallet here defensively, or offensively, I meant. And that's going to be it. All right. We're playing against another hogger list. So this is going to be interesting. Um, we don't have anything to deal with the chest. So we are going to play our hogger here. Our opponent is playing those poison spider. And he's playing an unbound list. I think. So I think the, the right arrow got fixed halfway through the video, which is interesting. Tell me, guys. Tell me, guys, if the arrow works for you guys now. Maybe it's a fluke. I'm going to play the safe pilot. And I'm going to play my hogger. The safe pilot is going to get destroyed. But my hogger is already dealing with him. I think we have more cycling potential than he does. So, we're going to try to commit commit with the uh, auger play line. Yep, our hogger is an extra level. So, we are going to put the hogger uh, top to apply some pressure. Our opponent is not applying a lot of pressure on us. We are going to help our miner here. Our one is still pushing directly to our base, which allows our miner to freely reach the second gold mine. However, there goes our opponent's hogger here. So we're going to put our miner here immediately in the middle. Harpies to defend against this hogger, which is I'm not going to do much. We're going to... I attempted to split the bandit. Didn't work. And our hogger is dealing so much damage. Okay, we're playing against a Mave list. So now... Now this is going to be a real unbound list. Our opponent has yet to play anything. We're going to keep our hogger. Unfortunately, I think we have to keep our hogger. So our opponent is playing a Quillboard middle. Playing a safe pilot now. Okay, we're gonna have to cycle our hogger. Probably he's probably waiting for us to play our. Yep, he was. But we have our harpies here and our bandits. So we are taking damage. But we're gonna have to apply pressure. We can't just wait.
You see, so now he's starting to play his uh, safe pilot as a defensive play. So we're going to try to push our bandits with some fight hunters. And we're going to get a good gold lead here. We have our hogger here. He's playing everything. We're going to play our safe pilot. We're going to chain lightning even. We need to defend as much as possible. The mate is dropping. Okay, this is where we need to take the advantage. We're gonna push everywhere. We're gonna cycle back to another hogger as quickly as possible by playing our tide hunters here and our bandits here. I guess we can't split them here. And we have another hogger. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. So he's going to have to spend a lot of resources in defense. And in the meanwhile, we already have another hogger ready. We're going to play the safe pilot here. Which unfortunately was a terrible play. Our opponent is attacking with the Earth Elemental. But we applied so much pressure, we didn't allow him to do his thing. And we secured the win. Station. We're sending the bandits here. Um, yeah, he's already spending so much gold. So, so I guess, guys, the only way to split unit in this map is behind our turrets. So this is a good thing to note. Our opponent is playing the Huntress. We're playing the safe pilot. She's going to get destroyed, but... Uh, we did a little bit of damage here. We need to cycle to our bandit if we want to defend. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go, bandits. Uh, they're not even going to see each other. We're going to split harpies. And we are going to play a uh, hogger. We have to play middle. He has nothing to deal with air here. Okay. We're going to chain lightning. Not gonna be enough to kill that last harpy. Unfortunately, we're gonna split some tide hunters. We're gonna split some bandits. We're gonna split some harpies. And now we're gonna have another hogger. I should have maybe split the vultures, but we're gonna split the vultures now. And we are gonna split some tide hunters now. And we are gonna play our miner left. And we are gonna send him immediately to the gold mine. His Huntress is an issue for us. But we have the Bandits. We have a Hogger. So actually, it's a non-issue. We're going to Chain Lightning here. I'm not sure how the uh, chess interaction works. Sometimes I play a spell, it works. Sometimes I play a spell, it doesn't work. Um, if you guys know, please tell me down below. I like to ask questions when I'm not sure. I get the answer, and then I can tell you guys. A lot of you guys are really, really good at this game. Or have a lot of knowledge on the game. Is a more accurate way of... Uh, well, good too. I don't want to discredit when you guys are... Uh, your skills. Okay, we have uh, issue defending because we are lacking on gold. So this is bad. But we are done and our hawker is going to secure. So actually it was all planned guys. Next up we're against a uh, buried Rivindar list. Uh, all right, 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 all right. Our hogger is next, so we're gonna send our miner here. We're gonna play our hogger. I don't want our miner to be by himself. I want him to have some a friend because there's uh, some skeletal mages that are gonna be terrorizing the battlefield. So I'm gonna send my tide hunters. Oh, the arrows are now broken again. Nice. So we can't split them. Never mind. I was wrong. Um, okay, we're going to have to deal with a lot of pressure. I think the play is going to be to defend. We're going to defend with defend. He has a quill bore, but that's not enough to deal a lot of 
pressure here. We are gonna save pilot, and we are even gonna chain lightning just to um, make sure we destroy everything. The abomination is an issue, especially uh, because there's a pyromancer behind. So I am gonna play. Okay, the pyromancer is dead, but there's another one. But we have our hogger. So I want to use my harpies, but I can't really because of the pyromancer. So we have to save pilots. We didn't have to, but we are good here in defense. Our hogger did deal some damage. Our opponent is so focused on attacking. I'm sending another hogger right side. I'm good. I'm cycling. I'm defending. I'm kind of weak here on um, gold a little bit, so I might wait a little bit. I just want the Skeletal Mage to die, and then I'm going to play my Harpies. Our Skeletal Mage is going to die. If they don't, the Harpies are good enough to defend against the Gargoyle, at least. Skeletal Mage are so good. Hogger, let's go. 1v1, that abomination. 1v2. Oh, sh oh no. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're going to play that. We're going to play our bandits. Our Hogger, we're going to have to use him as a defense against that Parin Libindar. Boom. Boom. Let's go, Hogger. Hogger is going to start applying pressure here, which is fantastic. Fantastico. I'm not Spanish. I'm French, by the way. Every time I see that uh, Abomination uh, emo popping, I think of Ziona, which is another content creator. Every time I see it, I can't unsee it. So I'm sending my Hogger here to attack the Abomination. There you go. All right, next up, we're against a Charga list here. What the hell is that clan title? I'm not going to read that. I'm not. Okay, sending Hogger middle. Sending. Oh, okay. He starts off with an execute, which is interesting. So we are going to safe pilot his chest. Okay, he's going full full unbound so we are we can't afford taking any damage we're gonna cycle this is rough however our harpies are going left which means if our Hogger connects on the right. Maybe, just maybe we'll be able to do something. We're going to have to defend here. He's definitely going to drop something. However, this, this doesn't work. You don't have enough gold to do that. We have our two Hoggers, our Harpies connected on the tower. All right, guys. This is going to be... Our last game against another Hogger list here. We're going to send our Murlocs here to go for the chest. We're going to chain lightning all of that. And we're even in a safe pilot. We're going to put some... Uh, Hide hunters here with some bandits. Hopefully the bandits hit the hogger before the murloc dies. It does. Okay. We are good. Okay. Our hogger here can be played defensively before starting to pressure. We don't even have to chain lightning here. We are in a good position. Uh, we need to get a gold uh, push now. I meant to click on the arrow, not to play safe out, but. I guess the safe pilot will do some good job here, actually. Great job! Yeah, no, that was all planned, guys. Oh my god, the safe pilot gets so much value. So we're cycling quicker. Now we are gonna put our miner because we need more gold. If we get more gold, unfortunately, he's gonna chain lightning. The arrow is broken. It's kind of frustrating. Because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If it was always inverted, that would be fine, but it's not the case. Stay 
Okay, I wanted to send my um, device bended in the middle just so we get the chest. So here the hogger is applying pressure, he gets a hit. The harpies should be able to deal with... Okay, he already played another hogger, but we're doing so much damage with our own hogger here. Our opponent is focusing way too much on offensive and not on def defense. So, oh wait, I guess the spiritual did take care of other things, but now we're about to send the miner. We are going to chain lightning. I think we have an extra level, so we should be able to one shot the chain lightning. And our hogger is going to secure the win here. Even our even if our opponent played the hogger in defense, we would have still won. Uh, we had a good advantage here. Uh, but yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, uh, please comment down below. Tell me what you guys think of my videos, what I could do to make them better. Uh, what do you guys want to see next? And also, how do you guys feel about the new PvP map? I know I asked a question in the last video, uh, but yeah, now I think I figured out a little bit more. It's definitely buggy. So yeah, there's an invisible arrow on the left side and the other arrow sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, which, is, which makes it very frustrating. Um, so yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Take care. Bye.